City of Hamilton wants to make sure there's enough parking, especially near small businesses. It's something many say has been a problem for years. WCPO 9 News reporter Anna Azalean live on Main Street there in Hamilton for us now. Anna, the city says it wants to find a solution. Yeah, Evan, Tanya, especially because there's new businesses and apartments set to open nearby, and the city's already implemented one possible solution, these new parking meters. And they say they're looking at other possibilities too. Drive down Main Street in Hamilton right now, and you'll see a lot of businesses, and at times, a lot of open parking spaces. But those who work in some of these shops say it hasn't always been this way. I mean, as long as I've lived in Hamilton, parking has always been a problem. Sometimes you would see a random cars set there for a couple days at a time. This is what the city of Hamilton says it's trying to fix, especially with more and more people spending time in Hamilton. Census data shows the city's population grew 1.5% from nearly 62,500 people in 2010 to roughly 63,400 people in 2020. Plus, with the new Spooky Nook sports facility nearby, people from out of town are coming to Hamilton too. There's big sports tournaments and stuff going on over there, and like, I mean, these these streets are filled. So what's the solution to those parking problems on and around Main Street? The city says it has agreements with some nearby parking lot owners to allow for free public parking at certain times of day. And in addition to trying out parking meters, the city has plans to add a parking lot. It's across the street from the new Rossville Flats and next to a planned Agave and Rye location. City officials say it'll add 52 parking spots. And they say they're still working to determine the best way to stop people from using it and other spots in the area as long term parking. We want to make sure that we have either paid parking or we have timed parking, just something that will continue that turnover. And the city right now says it's gathering feedback. And after talking with people here in Hamilton, there's definitely mixed reviews on the meters. Some say it's already helping with the issue. Others say it might actually hurt business. In Hamilton, Anna Azalian, WCPO 9 News.